In this video, I'm gonna cover the five best chest exercises you can do from the comfort of home. So let's jump right into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Derek, creator of Gamer Body, and in this video, we are covering the top five chest exercises that you can do at home with just a pair of dumbbells. To demonstrate each exercise, I will be using the core fitness dumbbells along with the fitness reality adjustable bench. So if you need some equipment, please check out the reviews to both of the items in the description below. We're gonna work our way from exercise number five to number one, number one being the best. So let's jump into exercise number five, which is the reverse chest press. Now the reverse chest press adds a little spin on your standard chest press as it activates the upper part of your chest a little more while raising the weights. Basically you are supinating your hands which means turning your hands up facing towards your face or head and this allows your upper chest to gain more activation in the movement. A lot of chest press exercises unless they are of incline type don't actually hit the upper chest all that much. So that is why a flat bench, while it does hit all of your chest, tends to hit more of the middle to lower chest. But we wanna make sure that we develop the upper chest and the reverse chest press is a great exercise to do that. Now I will be covering some other chest exercises here that hit the upper chest, but just note number five in the list is the reverse chest press. All right, now coming in at number four, we have the chest crossover done with dumbbells instead of cables like you see in a gym. This is another exercise that helps to activate the upper chest. In this version, you are not pressing the weight. Instead, you are doing more of a pulling motion. So most pulling motions activate more of say the biceps and the back, but this one is kind of a pull up motion that helps to activate the upper chest in a different way than just a standard pressing motion does. Now, no, I do recommend that you focus on heavy pressing motions to get most activation out of the chest, but if you need to spice things up and hit the chest in a different way, I really like the chest crossover done with dumbbells in order to activate your chest muscles and make them work a little differently for some additional growth. Try it out, see how you like the chest crossover. Note you are gonna wanna start with really light weights here and then work your way up because pressing is a lot easier than actually kind of raising them up towards the sky and activating the upper chest. So start light, then aim to get heavier over time and you'll see the development you are looking for. Now jumping into our top three, we are going to go with the chest fly. Now the chest fly is another one of those exercises where you're doing kind of a pulling motion more than you are doing a pushing motion. This exercise helps to basically expand the chest a lot and then bring it in to squeeze the chest really well together. You may feel a really good pump after this exercise. Again, that does not mean you are building muscle in your chest, it just feels really good, but I like to do it as again to change up my exercises um, from time to time and spice things up. One caveat here, it does put you in a compromised position if you are going too low and too heavy with the dumbbells. You do not want to tear one of your pecs, so make sure that the weight you pick is one that you can control easily throughout the entire range of motion so that again you are not injuring yourself when doing this exercise. I know many people have put this exercise in the graveyard for the specific reason that you can get injured but I think it is a very good exercise as long as you use the appropriate weights and can control it throughout the entire range of motion. Let's jump into our last two exercises and coming in at number two we have the flat bench chest press. Now the flat bench chest press is your standard basic bench press in order to develop all of the chest muscles with just a standard pressing motion. Now if you're working out from home, you can do this from the floor or you can use a bench like I'm using in the video in order to get the most range of motion. If you're going from the floor, your elbows will hit the floor at of course a 90 degree angle. But if you want a little more range of motion, you're gonna to want to raise yourself off the ground by using something like a bench. And I'm using, again, the adjustable bench here to demonstrate this exercise. This is the staple exercise everyone should have, whether you're at a gym, home, wherever you're working out, you definitely should be throwing in some type of chest press exercise um, in order to develop the best chest you possibly can and gain the most amount of size. You can also probably lift the most amount of weight out of any exercise 
doing it from a flat surface. And now we are at my top exercise for developing your chest from home and that is the incline chest press. Now I neglected the incline chest press for the majority of my fitness career, which is very, very unfortunate because what it did is that while it developed my chest by doing the flat one most of the time, it really developed most of the mid to lower chest. So the problem with that is I didn't get that real armor plated look I was going for with my chest because I was not focusing on that upper chest. The chest basically has two portions, an upper and a lower piece, the upper part being a little smaller than the lower section. So the lower section really stood out and kind of made my chest look a little uneven and kind of strange. So now I'm really working on developing that upper chest to get the full armor plated look like you see in the superhero type of movies and round out my physique overall. So make sure that you are getting in some attention to the upper chest. I actually have quite a few upper chest exercises in this video that can really help you out. So don't forget the upper chest. Go really heavy with that flat uh, chest press. Go as heavy as you can with the upper uh, inclined chest press and you will see a great chest developed over time. So that is it on my top five chest exercises that you can do with only a pair of dumbbells from the comfort of home, apartment, or wherever you're working out from. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to this channel for more top five videos just like this one. Also, please head over to GamerBody.com where you can opt into my email newsletter as well as gain access to my 28 day dumbbell program that you can run from home. This is the program that I'm currently running as well until I go on my d -low, which is more of a calisthenics. But if you want my actual dumbbell program, head over again to GamerBody.com, opt in and you'll get it all for free as well as access to the equipment I am currently using. Yes, I do update this as I change equipment. So if you want my most recent version, again, please head over to GamerBody.com and get it from there. And that is it again. So please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.